What's up guys, Thomas here, and in today's video we take a look at the last episode of The Ones Who Live. I liked the way Rick acted like he cared about saving the world. The way Okafor talked about it, the only ones who believed it were Thorn and Okafor. Meanwhile, Michonne had made her way through security and into the building. I've never seen anyone climb a tree that fast before, but okay. Michonne found the Jadis file that had the information about Alexandria and her relationship with Rick and Michonne. The moment I saw Michonne find it, even she thought she was just making it up, but from her expression, it didn't look like it. Behind Michonne, we see a photo of Jadis meeting Gabrielle. I wouldn't be surprised if she killed him there. There was a lot of fighting in this episode, so it was good to see Rick and Michonne in action again, especially when Michonne was at Jadis's place. The CRM soldier knocked on her door, so Michonne killed that scene. Then we have Rick and Beale, and Beale tells him that everything's going to change. Rick could have done it by touching the sword and making the promise, and then Rick would have killed Beale. No! After that, we see Michonne watching CRM describe what they're going to do with the kids. That's why Michonne was in the shaker we see here. But it's never going to happen because they kind of blew up. Honestly, I have to admit, it was a great idea. And the way Rick put Beale in that box, I'll give him that. Again, Andrew Lincoln's performance is incredible, great fighting scene. Then we have Rick and Michonne in the hangar, where they're setting up an explosion to destroy the entire CRM. Beale and the CRM soldier both go in different directions to release the grenades fuse. This was a great idea, since Rick has such a great track record with grenades since season one. I believe it was his idea. Of course, when they want to get out of there, Thorne shows up. She was pissed, but sad that the CRM rescue wasn't going to happen. Rick and Dana, I mean Michonne, they didn't care much, so they listened to Thorne, and as soon as Beale came out, they knew what to do. This way! And then CRM exploded. EMC seems to look explosions a lot on The Walking Dead. Almost every episode, something exploded. Interesting, after the explosion, the same guest that was in episode 2 showed up. As Michonne walked with Nat and the others, that extended the meeting with Rick by one year. Thank you, CRM. What I really liked was that I expected Rick to fight Thorn, but in the end, it was Michonne, so thank God she won. While Michonne was fighting Thorn, Rick was fighting walkers. Again, the experience with the grenade, he was not very close to getting hurt. Luckily, he was saved by the walkers. After that, they said goodbye to Thorn, who apparently died from the stabbing and the gas, so it wasn't a very pleasant death. And the final scene, which I honestly didn't expect to happen, Rick was reunited with his kid's niece, ending at the end of The Ones Who Live, but I want to discuss what happens next, because when Rick Rick and Michonne came back. Rick's story is still not over. He has to be seen with Daryl, which is what every fan of The Walking Dead wants to see. But what makes sense to us now is that what was speculated about is now clear, that as Daryl was talking to Carol, she eventually said Rick came back, which confirmed his return on The Ones Who Live. AMC has released a teaser for season two of Daryl Dixon's Book of Carol, so it's clear what season two will be about. Carol will go looking for Daryl to tell him that Rick is back, and then they will return home from France. I don't really know what's going to happen with Ed City because a lot of people also want to see a reunion with Nagan and Rick. We know there's supposed to be a second season, but it's probably gonna be Maggie versus Nagan, but the main thing is that we finally got what we've been waiting for. From what I've noticed, a lot of people don't like RJ very much because he had like 10 sentences in the entirety of The Walking Dead. Then again, he's still a kid, so it's obvious he doesn't talk much. And when Rick saw Judith, it was so beautifully emotional, it made almost everyone cry. So I'm glad they put it all together, especially Andrew and Denai, because they were mainly figuring out how they wanted to end the Rook mission story. And for Denai to write the fourth episode, you gotta hand it to her. She wrote it perfectly. Most of them expected to see each other and go home right away. But as we could see, Rick liked the CRM, and he didn't want to go home with Michonne. The best part was when Michonne mentioned to Rick that they have a son, and Rick's reaction was, so what? He's almost eight. You need to give me the PRB. It would be insane if Rick decided to look for Daryl and go to France. What would Michonne's reaction be after she brought him back home after all these years and he'd go right back out again? I'm sure she wouldn't agree, but like I said, that's what we all want. A Rick and Daryl reunion. There's supposed to be the Walking Dead crossovers. After all the spin-offs, there's a lot of catching up to do because even Morgan has decided to look for Rick, so we'll definitely see him, but when would he show up in Dead City? That's my guess because Daryl is in France and wouldn't get there by chance, so it's possible. But I think Morgan with Maggie and Negan would be more interesting than Daryl. There would be more disagreements, plus Maggie and Negan will go after each other, so what if Morgan runs into one of them and he's on the good side or the bad side? But I'm glad Morgan's going to fit back into the world of The Walking Dead. It's good to see OG characters back. Let's go back to the ones who live as Rick reunites with his family. We see CRM helicopters in the background. It's probably the stock they brought back from the CRM center, but the question now is, will there be a season two of The Ones Who Live? Yes, Rick reunited with his family, but it's still a half-open ending on the Instagram of the actress who plays Judith Grimes, Kaylee Fleming. She posted a photo and video of them together, and it looks like they're having a picnic, but most 
importantly, Rick has a spare arm, but it's an exact replica of what's in the comic, a reference for a future teaser or the opening scene to the second season. It could be deleted scenes, but I don't know, and I'm sure she didn't put it in there without realizing it. So this is very interesting. I hope it's connected to something. And if that were the case, it would have some kind of connection that Rick would have the same hand as in the comics that must mean something, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. It's a shame that Thorn or especially Beale were characters to sort of encompass the story. I don't think this CRM base was the only one. What if it's like Nagan that Hilltop knew about a base and they thought Nagan was there or that's what everyone said but they didn't know and after that it turned out to be probably the biggest group of bad guys on The Walking Dead. So what if something more about CRM or someone bigger than Bill shows up in future spin-offs because if they wanted to change the world it takes a lot of people and yes it was said that there would be important leaders at the briefing. The scene we saw at the beginning of episode 5, Gabriel showed up and he saw the CRM helicopters so now it would make sense that those are the helicopters we saw when Rick reunited with his family. And I want to add something about RJ. There's a lot of talk about how RJ is an actor, Anthony Azor. A lot of people complain about his acting, that he laughs in most of the episodes where he plays or when he has to say something, he says it without soul. I agree that they should definitely fix it in the future if they still want to include the actor in a future series where he will play. But the comments that are being written about him are pretty inappropriate and nasty about him. He doesn't deserve that. They also say if AMC replaced Carl with this, they made a mistake and other things. Let's hope it gets fixed. But please don't write such nasty things about him. I almost forgot to mention Judy a character most people didn't like. Well, everyone, the way she played it was also great. Her death was pretty sad because after she got bitten by a walker, she went back to the old Jedis from The Walking Dead. But the overall rating of the ones who live is 10 in 10 for me. We got what we wanted. There were a lot of good characters that we unfortunately lost. As Dinah mentioned on her Instagram, where she thanked fans that it was all for them that we deserved to see the ending to Rick and Mission's story. In one of the interviews, Danai, together with Andy, they said a few years back before the ones who live. So they wrote notes or imagined how they wanted it to be their unexpected reunion, which it damn well was. And they've been saying all this for years. Even Andy mentioned he likes to wear his cowboy boots. And I believe he himself was happy for that because after he left the walk, dead it was just over nobody knew anything about what was going on or what was going to happen there was just speculation and we were done with the ones who live why does the time go by so fast Anyway, the question now is were those six episodes not enough? Did we learn everything we wanted to find out? Do you think the reunion could have been longer? That's the question. And the way they were reunited as Rick and Michonne ran from the helicopter and then Rick stood behind Michonne and saw Judith and Arari so it seemed like he didn't really care. No, of course he didn't care. It just seemed the same as Michonne told Rick at the hotel or in the building, whatever, that he has a son. And his reaction was, You need to give me the PRB. But we did get to see that reunion. People's reaction is great. Everyone had exactly the same, I suppose. And I really want to thank Andrew Lincoln for coming back as Rick Grimes and giving us back the feel of the show because this confirms that Rick is just the walking dead. I wasn't bored at all, like with season 11. So great job by the cast. Even one fan, I think he lived, was near New Jersey so he could see the filming with his own eyes. And he sent me a lot of shots. So thank you very much for that. It was great to see Rick in action like that again. I hope to see something like this in the future. So let me know in the comments what you think of the ones who live. If you also felt like rewatching the walking dead, Dead for the first time. Geez, what I'd give to rewatch it for the first time. You can definitely expect more videos regarding the Walking Dead world. And I want to add a big thank you to Scott Gimple because what we saw on The Ones Who Live was exactly what we needed to see. Reunion, let me know in the comments what you think of the last episode. Give a like, subscribe, and see you on the next video.